when we opened this exhibit in 2005, there were over 500 museums and historical societies in Oklahoma. Not a one had a permanent exhibit of African American history. Not a one. So this is, this is it. Bruce Fisher has been a curator for the Oklahoma History Center since 1999 and largely responsible for the African American exhibit created six years after he arrived. They were in the process of designing this building. We had very little and we're, and we're artifacts. Fisher's first mission to make sure the story of the 1921 Tulsa race massacre was told, ensuring one of the most painful, darkest and significant stories in American history had a permanent place here. Hundreds of black people murdered, every house burned to the ground, nothing, there was no precedent for this anywhere. Newspaper headlines like this one from the Black Dispatch chronicling only a fraction of the untold story. Days of mass chaos and destruction in the Tulsa Greenwood District, killing hundreds and burning Black Wall Street down to ashes, destroying African Americans' dreams of hope and prosperity. Fisher believes one reason this critical part of history was dormant for more than 70 years, fear. You had people that didn't know whether it would happen again. You had people in, in smaller communities that thought if it happened there, it might happen to us. So I think that's one of the reasons people didn't really talk about it that much. He says many even denying the massacre ever took place, despite the lives lost and damage done. It was pictures and videos but nobody knew where they were and who had them. He says many of the documented articles he tried to collect were altered or deleted from the archives. From 1893 until, until now, when you go to the page that had uh, the, the page of, of, May, of May the uh, 29th, um, May 31st, I mean, the, the right. When you go to that page in the newspaper, you see it cut out. Every newspaper that we could find had that said it had an article cut out. Fisher says some survivors, including his own grandparents, moved to all black towns in Oklahoma or out of state altogether. The stories passed down to their descendants. Fisher says it wasn't until 75 years after the massacre in 1996 when State Representative Don Ross and Senator Maxine Horner created the Oklahoma Commission. The commission creating a safe place for survivors to speak out and be recorded. You know, this was trauma on steroids. And with the 100th anniversary of the Tulsa Race Massacre approaching, Fisher says it's up to remaining survivors to continue telling their stories, for historians to accurately document them, and for schools to teach it. It's got to be incorporated into the curriculum. The teachers have a lot of latitude as to what they can use as far as material in the classroom. They, they can't claim ignorance anymore. So that history doesn't repeat itself. There's nothing in, in the history of, 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 of this country comparable to that. Then or now. Patrina Adger, KOCO 5 News.